we dive into our speakers, I do want to take a minute to, you know, talk about stories. That's why we're all here. Stories are everything. And I'm not just talking about, like, all those hours that I spend, like, streaming Netflix stuff and my horrible Game of Thrones addiction. Like, I'm actually talking about something much bigger than that, right? Stories are the fabric of our reality. Like, we relate to our friends and family and loved ones on a pretty regular basis with stories. You know, like, hey, how's it going? How have you been? Well, I uh, had a really great day, and I went to this meeting, and I uh, talked about the really important thing, and then I had a salad, and it was really great, and I had a great day. And like, that's actually a story. Might not give it a whole lot of credit at the time, but that's a really good story, an important one. Um, our understanding of the world is made up entirely of stories that have been told to us or that we've experienced ourselves through travel, uh, that we've learned in school, um, and history is made up entirely of stories, usually told by the person who won the battle, uh, but a story nonetheless. Um, and then there's, of course, all of like the, the media that we actively consume on a regular basis. We've got movies and TV shows, audiobooks, podcasts, Netflix, social media, Reddit, uh, gosh, even advertising, the news, photography, museums, amusement parks, I mean, you name it, stories are coming at us all the time and we're constantly consuming them. Um, so stories really are a huge, huge, huge part of our reality. Um, and storytelling is a really important part of that, right? How we communicate as human beings. So I really, I recently saw a cognitive neuroscientist give a cool talk. Her name was Carmen Simon. She gave a talk at HubSpot's inbound conference last month on the science of storytelling. And I thought, like, that's really relevant. I've got this event coming up. Like, I should go see this talk. So it was so freaking awesome. So she asked the room at the beginning of the talk, why do we have brains? We all thought about it for a minute. We're like, OK, so that we can learn about our environment, so that we know what food to eat or what not to eat so that we know what threats there might be out there in the world, that we can move away from them or, or avoid them. Um, and that's all, you know, pretty good, solid answers. But her answer was a little bit deeper than that. She said, we have brains so that we can move. Okay, so, so we can physically move, right? Like toward the food or away from the enemies. Like, all right, that's pretty straightforward. But she actually meant it on a much deeper level. We have brains so that we can move people, so that we can convince people to move toward us, so that we can ultimately connect and move together and accomplish great things that way as a, as a species, as the human race. That is why we have brains. I thought that was really cool. So she was recently doing a study um, in which she had 40, 437 participants read 55 stories. They all read the same stories, and then they were quizzed on them after the fact. Not a really long time after the fact, but pretty soon thereafter. And she was very shocked to find that 53% of those participants remembered absolutely nothing about the stories that they had read, which was disappointing, right? I mean, storytelling, we've just established, is extremely important. Stories are a part of our reality. So what happened here? Um, the other 43, the other 47 percent of those uh, participants, they did okay. They remembered some things. They they got some details wrong, but maybe they remembered at least what generally happened in the story. Uh, some of them embellished entirely and added details that didn't exist in there in the first place. Uh, some people even got defensive and <laughs> blamed the the writer for just being a bad storyteller, which is just really interesting. The thought that 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 was what they jumped to on that. So, um, so she was kind of left, you know, feeling a little bummed out. Like, okay, story is really important, but nobody's remembering them, or it's very difficult uh, for them to remember. So, what is it about maybe some of these stories that is making them more memorable than the other? Maybe we can find something there. So she analyzed the stories that were standing out above the others, and she found that they all had three things in common. One they engaged the reader's sense of perception in that they, they um, awakened the senses. They, they set the time and the place. They talked about what smells were in the air. Was it dark? Was it light? Was it hot? Was it cold? What were they wearing? Enough details so that the reader could put themselves in the position of the person writing the story. 
Uh, number two, they enabled what she called cognitive ease in that the stories were simply told. They weren't told in lavish sentences with colorful vocabulary. They got right to the point and they moved across time. The third thing these stories had in common was that they were affective. Not effective with an E, but affective with an A. They engaged the reader's emotional centers and really challenged the reader to examine what their personal values were. She saw a common thread in the quiz results after the fact saying things like, I learned such and such and blah, blah, blah from this story, or this story taught me the value of such and such and blah, blah, blah. Bingo, that was her takeaway. Memory is motivated by what we think serves us well. So think about that as you go through today's event. How can you package up your story with something useful to give to the reader so that they can remember it, so that you can move them? Because they know they won't remember all of the details after the fact, that's okay. But if you can package it up with something useful, that person is a, has a much higher chance of being moved by the story because you've taught them or shown them something and they will always remember what moved them. So that's what today's event is all about. We really hope that you'll come away feeling inspired and enlightened and ready to tell your story, share it with the world, and ultimately move people, right? Ooh,